Did you know that MRSA has a higher annual death rate than AIDS do in the United States? In USA, more than 17,000 die from MRSA annually, while AIDS kills about 16,000. The methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus is the strain of the bacteria Staphylococcus aureus, which grew a natural resistant to methicillin and other antibiotics that were commonly used to treat it. In the public, it is better known as a superbug because it is resistant to many antibiotics. Like other superbugs, MRSA is a result of antibiotic overuse. It was discovered in a hospital in the United Kingdom in 1961. In 2005, 278,000 people were infected by MRSA, and more than 17,000 have died by MRSA, only in the United States. MRSA is found worldwide, practically anywhere, but especially in hospitals and institutions such as nursing homes. MRSA was just recently discovered in 1961, and the historical significance of it is still under development, but still there are some. When MRSA was discovered, Antibiotic industry was struck hard because most antibiotics, which were called the super drugs, did not work on MRSA. When drug users in the U.S. used contaminated syringes, they developed a new type of MRSA, the community associated MRSA into the world. This raised the public health concerns. MRSA can spread by physical contact with an infected person or contaminated items such as door handles. Close skin to skin contact Cuts or scrapes on the skin, sharing personal hygiene items such as razors and towels can also spread MRSA. In hospitals, if the administrators do not use a sterilized needle for injection, you could be infected with MRSA. This is how MRSA usually spreads around in hospitals. Airborne particles, mostly dust, can carry MRSA also. And also, recently in America, a law was made that states all gym equipment, after use, must be thoroughly sterilized by the user. For the body to overcome MRSA, the body requires immune molecules called complement proteins. These proteins flow in the bloodstream inactive and represent the first line of defense against the attacking microbes. When encountered an attacking microbes such as staph, the complement proteins are made into smaller subunits that summon more immune cells and trigger other cells and other defense mechanisms. MRSA, in order to contract the body's immune system, produces a protein called EFB, which prevents the activation of the complement trigger. EFB changes the shape of the complement proteins, which prevents the proteins from being sliced into subunits and makes the complement response ineffective. MRSA infections look exactly like other ordinary staph infections, which resemble a spider bite, a small red bump, pimple, or boil. The infection site can be red, painful, swollen, or warm. Pus or other fluids may drain from the site. These infections can rapidly turn into deep, painful abscesses that require surgery. Treatment of MRSA can be a very hard process since most antibiotics do not work on it. Usually, the patient is authorized to apply antibiotic ointment. If it's serious, the patient will be given an IV vancomycin. MRSA is not well known since it was usually confined to the hospitals, but now the community associated MRSA is becoming dangerous and people need to pay more concern to MRSA and follow all the necessary prevention methods.